who murdered the 298 people aboard Malaysian flight MH17. Most of the Western media already has an answer. Russian separatists in Ukraine with a missile. Coming out from US, U.S. intelligence analysis, they do believe it's most likely was a missile sh that shot down uh, this flight. It was a, from a fired by a pro-Russian separatist inside eastern Ukraine. Experts say the missile was fired from a Cold War era Buk missile system, a weapon held by both the Russian and Ukrainian militaries. The Russian government-funded news site RT reported that a Ukrainian battery was operational in the region. But a Ukrainian military spokesman said his nation didn't control that part of Ukraine, and that MH17 was outside the zone of possible destruction by the anti-aircraft forces of Ukraine. Separatist leader Andrei Pergin said he didn't know whether rebel forces owned Buk missile launchers. Which is strange, considering that separatist leaders bragged about the capture of a Buk battery to a Russian news agency in June. And in a recording acquired by the New York Times, separatist leaders seem to admit they shot down the plane. Even more interesting is a video provided by the Ukrainian government government Thursday morning, which seems to show a used Buk launcher being moved out of Ukraine and into Russia with two missiles missing. The United States has not hesitated to connect the dots between the separatists and their alleged Russian benefactors. Arizona Senator John McCain was quick to get on the record. And if these are separatists, which are also Russian, Vladimir Putin should be paying a very heavy price. And Pentagon spokesman John Kirby says it strains credulity to think that the missile could be used by separatists without at least some measure of Russian support and technical assistance. But former Congressman Ron Paul downplayed Russian involvement, comparing the situation to the U.S. inadvertently arming terrorists in Syria. They're Russian weapons. That may well be true, but guess what? ISIS has a lot of American weapons. If the separatists are found responsible, it wouldn't be the first time. They've shot down at least 10 planes since violence in the region began. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman.